Now we're going to talk about um, a very interesting uh, concept for mind mapping. Um, most of you guys probably know or from personal experience or from other people how New Year resolutions always, always fail. Um, and, and now I'm not going to go in depth into why New Year resolutions uh, fail, uh, but just briefly and quickly, uh, first, most of them fail because people don't commit on a piece of paper. They just say that they want to do something um, and, well, uh, that's not enough obligation and they eventually just end up dropping it and disregarding it. Uh, now, between the people who actually write it, uh, the people who don't follow through with it, uh, two people, first, people who did not really want that, people who just, you know, just out of a moment where, for example, they felt that this is the right thing to do and it was just random out of emotions and they said, said I want to do this and they wrote it on a piece of paper. They don't follow through with it because once they get back to their senses, they realize that this is not something that they want to do. And the other category of people is um, the people who basically put goals that are not smart. Putting a goal that is not specific, um, that is not attainable, that is not measurable, that is not realistic, that is not timely. These are all mistakes that people go through when they're doing their New Year resolution. That's exactly why uh, there's a lecture that talks about smart goals, because it is essential. If you don't have a smart goal, even mind mapping would not be effective. So the fact that it is a New Year resolution, it means that it's timely. So the time frame is uh, from the year 2017 to the year 2018 or from the year 2018 to the year 2019, let's say. Right. So right here, you can see the main uh, the main goal is uh, the main uh, idea is New Year goals. Afterwards, you have all the different branches, family, career, leisure, personal growth, finances and health. And usually these are a lot these are a lot of different stuff to have for a new year resolution. Usually usually having one or two things is more more than enough. But let's say you want to follow through with it and you want to build a mind map for it. Well, as you can see, the branches are the things that constitutes this the new year goals. You want to focus on stuff related to all the dif all the different branches um, uh, that we have in front of us. And then of course you have the sub branches. What do you have to do to be able to effectively conquer the family branch, uh, the career branch, the leisure branch? These are all the sub branches that we have. Okay. Now this is where this mind map exactly does a huge mistake. Okay. This mind map does not follow smart goals. Um, and I'm glad that it doesn't. So we can talk more about this principle and you guys can really understand it better. Um, so in this mind map right here, you can see, for example, in family, organize a reunion. There's, it's not specified what kind of reunion. Um, there's no time frame. It's not measurable what kind of reunions. Uh, there's no information. Spend quality weekends. Um, what do you mean spend quality weekends with who, uh, where, with what members, what members of your family, uh, siblings, parents, grandparents, uh, career, enhanced leadership skills. How are you going to know that you're enhancing real leadership skills? Uh, what are leadership skills for you? Read biographies of leaders. What leaders? So if you want to do it differently and in a smart goal kind of way, organize a reunion. It can be, for example, organize three, three reunions a year with your entire family, uh, second Friday of each of each second month, whatever, for four hours. This is you putting exactly a smart goal and committing to it. This is you saying, I'm going to have three family reun reunions in the next year. Uh, we're going to meet on, on these days if it's possible. And we're going to have the entire family, yada, yada, yada. Spend quality weekends. Okay, maybe, maybe a smart goal would be uh, to every two weeks, to take one week and uh, one week of break and just spend quality time with your with your wife and with your kids. Um, it can be, for example, for Saturday and Sunday or for Friday, for Friday and Saturday, right? Enhance leadership skills. You want to say, for example, enhance, enhance let's see, the different leadership skills that you have. Enhance communication. Enhance this. Enhance that. Leadership skills can be can be a, a branch, not just a, a, not just a sub branch in the career. If you want to do it smart, this can be an entire branch. Read biographies of leaders. It can be uh, read uh, a biography biographies of leaders one every month 
And then you put first month, who's going to be? Second month, who is, who is it going to be? Third, fourth, uh, move up, get that promotion. Okay, what do I need to do to move up and get that promotion? Do you guys, do you guys follow with it? Um, so in, in leisure, for example, one hour for guitar every day. Now, I think this is a bit exaggerated because uh, you cannot commit to something every single day. So sometimes you might have a day where, uh, I don't know, you decided to play the guitar at night. It's 9 p.m. All the stores are closed. You play the first uh, strum on your guitar and, and, and one of the strings uh, just break. Guess what? Today, you won't be able to play the guitar. So instead of putting one hour, uh, one hour guitar for, for every day, you can put, for example, playing a guitar five times a week, right? Uh, five hours a week, for example, or whatever you put the smart goal. But the fact that we're that the fact that it's written one hour for guitar every day, this is you getting closer, for example, to putting a smart goal. So once you once you understand, uh, and by now hopefully you understand what smart goals goals are. Um, um, personal growth, finish an MBA course. Um, well, I'm not sure if this is if this is realistic. You know, I'm not sure if in one year you can finish an MBA course. Maybe it is, right? But you need to see if this goal is uh, is realistic. If it's S M A R T, specific, measurable, attainable, timely, and realistic, right? You need to ask yourself these. And once you figure out if your goal is smart or not, you'll be able to see if your mind map is is working efficiently or not. So. Uh, new year goals is your main idea. Then you have all the branches, health, family, career, leisure, personal growth, and finances. Then we need to write your goals, what you need to do in each and every one of these branches for you to conquer the branch. You need to be specific. You need to follow smart goals for you to be able to, to finish it and actually stick to a new year resolution. Otherwise, it would be uh, with this, if you have this new year resolution in front of you, and guess what? Every single time you're going to say, okay, I need to do, uh, I need to organize a reunion. And guess what? It's not going to happen. Every time you're going to say, I need to spend quality weekends with my uh, wife or my kids, you're going to forget about it. When you uh, first started, you want to enhance your leadership skills. Uh, at one point, you're going to become so tired at work that you're not just going to even going to think about leadership. Uh, read biographies of leaders. You're going to maybe read one after, after New Year's. You're going to read one or two, and then you're just going to forget about it. But when it's smart, when you say e every month, I'm going to read biographies. This month is going to be Abraham Lincoln. The other month is going to be uh, Dale Carnegie. Then you have yourself set on the path to success. You know that this New Year resolution is most probably going to work. It might not work for, for other reasons, but most probably it is going to work.